Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and here I am with my new integration case study. And the topic for this case study is how to perform linear regression in Tableau using Python. So basically in this case study, I am going to demonstrate you how to perform an integration between Tableau with Python. And the idea behind doing that is that, as all of you know, that Tableau is a data visualization tool. And Python is rich with data science and machine learning algorithms. So I would like to use the power of Python's machine learning capabilities within Tableau. And for this, I would be taking help of integration using Tab Pi server. So I have got a financial data set which I have got extracted from my uh, from my online data sets. And here I would like to find out the linear regression. I would like to dis, uh, present the linear regression between revenue and gross profit. And for this, I will be using my uh, Tableau instance where python is also installed in the same location at the same drive so as you can see this is my virtual machine and in this virtual machine i got my tab Pi server also installed so both my tableau and python on same location so first of all let me show you whether uh, let's go and check whether python is available or not so i just type a command called python and you can see python is available with 3.7.0 which is installed on the same location and so first of all i would like to design or set up the environment and then we will be going to see that how to connect or how to integrate with python using tab Pi server so first of all i'm going to load my data set that's my finance data So I load this data in Tableau. And uh, I will be going to create the copies of revenue and gross profit. And why I'm doing that because when I drag and drop revenue into columns and gross profit into rows, it simply creates a single value for that. It is only giving the total revenue and total of gross profit because they are majors. Uh, so, but my requirement is to display other respective values also. So I'm creating a copy or duplicate for this and I convert it as a dimension so that we can display the values over here. And because we would be comparing the gross profit with respective to revenue. So let me swap it first of all. So we have gross profit. So, or you can say as soon as the revenue gets increases, gross profit is increases. So we wanted to predict this out whether based on the revenue, whether gross profit is increasing or not. And if it is increasing, so we would like to present it with the help of linear regression. And in order to do that, I simple drag and drop the gross profit into details section. So I drag and drop this gross profit into details. So So as you can see, we got the gross profit and the values have been placed and revenue and gross profit. Now I would like to add a regression line and I would like to see whether based on the revenue gross profit is increasing or not. So for that we need to take help of Python linear regression functionality. But first of all we need to set up an environment for that so that we can easily integrate it. So in order to do that we need to pass certain commands to install tab Pi server and those commands are you can start cmd and write pip install tab Pi server
in my case it's already installed i've already installed tap by server so it's not installing it once again and the default location for tap by server is c drive python directory lib site packages and it get installed within tap by server location this folder and uh, this is the file that's the windows batch file which we need to initiate to start up the tap by server so you can see tap by server has been successfully initiated on port number 9004 so this is the port number on which we would be going to uh, integrate tablu with tap by and uh, let's see the process for integration so click on help setting and performance manage external service connection and local host because it's running on my local machine and port number is 9004 because i have already configured it once previously so that's why it is giving me the same port number in your case when you will be doing it first time it might be 6103 something like that whatever it would be a different port number you need to change it to 9004 and click on test connection so if connectivity is done successfully it will throw a message successfully connected to tap by server and let's assume if i change the port number 9005 it will throw an error message here that is not connected so tap by external services not connected because port number is 9004 that's the port on which tap by server is running so i successfully integrated or successfully connectivity has been done between tablu and python using tap by server now we are going to write a logic so there are two ways to you know uh, to write the logics number one we can create a variable a, a calculated field and we write the logic within tablu or we can create a separate module and deploy that module on tap by server so that it can be accessed from multiple tablu workbooks so i'm going to take the first option where we would be writing the script within tablu so i'm creating a calculated field and in this calculated field there we can give any name so let's say i'll give name as regression 1 and the function is i'm using a function as a script real so that the the returned value will be in real and uh, the so first of all we need to import the uh, import numpy uh, library like we used to do in python and then from sk learn import linear underscore model make sure that these two packages are already been available in your python if these two packages are not available it will throw an error message so as you can see i already got sk learn and numpy package so it's already available uh, in your case you need to install them separately if you are doing it very first time and clf is equal to linear underscore model dot linear regression and uh, uh, in linear regression we need to create we need to pass two parameters first one will be the dependent sorry the first one first parameter will be independent and second one will be dependent and in our case study gross profit is directly dependent on revenue if revenue is increasing we would like to figure it out whether profit is increasing or decreasing that's a prediction we want to make and that prediction we want to present in the form of a linear regression line it could be positive it could be negative it depends on the it depends on the uh, data set which you are going to pass so it depends on your uh, values which you are going to input so i am writing x x i am creating first uh, independent variable so np dot transpose uh np dot transpose and i'm passing np dot array underscore a r g 1 that's a first argument y is equal to 
np dot array underscore a r g two so two parameters we pass and i'm going to fit this x dependent and y or independent variables in the linear regression and linear regression is pro is present is referring with the clf instance and it will return some value so whatever value it would be returning that value we would be presenting in the form of a graph or with the help of visualization so return clf dot predict x dot to list and uh, parameters need to pass so i'm passing two parameters sum of first is uh, x is independent and revenue is not dependent on gross profit here gross profit is directly dependent on revenue so i pass revenue as parameter x and sum of gross profit as y and you see the calculation is valid there are no errors i click on ok and now we simple drag and drop this regression as a separate in the uh, in rows to create a separate chart if any error is there if any error in calculation it will throw error else as you can see there is no error and uh, this regression i would like to display in the form of a line uh, when i present in the form of a line you will find out some messy data so i want a linear uh, i want a linear line so the calculation i change computer using gross profit copy so the calculation will be done so you can see a linear line is going on and it's from lower to higher so it indicates that the regression is in a positive manner means uh, gross profit is directly dependent on revenue and if revenue is increasing gross profit will be definitely increasing now i would like to combine them so first of all let me change the color the i'll just change the color i'll just change its color and i just mark it with different colors and this also i change with different colors let's say with some green colors and now uh, i would like to combine them so i say dual excess and you see some values are uh, we are getting the values like this so we are getting the revenues and gross prof, uh, revenue and regression line and sync excess we need to go for sync excess and you see uh, because the sync excess is very important gross profit and it is sync now you can see uh, the values are placed in both side of the regression line. So this regression line, uh, this is not showing continuous data because some of the, uh, we, we don't have the continuous data for the respective years in between our respective quarters or some. So that's why it is in this form. If you have a continuous data, you will get a straight line from to or from in a positive manner or in a negative manner. So it depends on your data. If your revenue is increasing, and whatever calculation you have done for gross profit what we used to do if it is that then it would if it is in a positive if it's in a positive way it will appear in positive else it will appear in negative so let me look for traffic light and red color assigned to this apply and okay so we can get a proper line here proper segment so this is how we perform a linear regression with the power of python within tableau so this would be very useful and very helpful in your uh, tableau data visualization when you want to uh, incorporate some machine learning functionality so python will be the correct approach for that so that's all in this video if you have some questions or queries you can post your comments in comment box you can connect with us for the uh, specialized training with tableau with machine learning with python also we have a dedicated course for data science and machine learning in python thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye